be in the picture. <laughs> Hallelujah, anyhow. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Welcome this evening on the 22nd of November to Bible study at New Life in Christ Jesus Church, where Jesus is glorified. Hallelujah to your name. We just want to bless the Lord this evening in this Thanksgiving season just to give him thanks for who he is and all that is within us. Let us bless his holy name. I will magnify the Lord as the word says. Oh, come magnify the Lord. Let us exalt his name together for he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah to his name. Glory to his name. Let us lift up holy hands in the sanctuary. Welcome to the, those that are viewing by the internet and by radio. Those that are here in the congregation, we say welcome, welcome, welcome. Hallelujah to your name. Because Jesus is worthy to be praised. So don't get tired. This is time to stir it up because you ought to be excited about just giving God praise for who he is. Hallelujah to his name. For he is worthy to be praised. Let us pray. Father, we come right now in the name of Jesus, just giving you the glory. Father, we repent of anything we might have said, did, or done this day. And we ask, Lord God, that you forgive us of our sins and transgressions and iniquities that's blocking our passage between our fellowship in the name of Jesus. And as we repent, Lord God, sorrowfully, we ask in the name of Jesus, Father, that you go throughout the highways and the byways and touch those who needs to be touched. We thank you for the anointing that destroys the yoke. We thank you right now for, Father, for just being who you are. We magnify you that there's none like you we thank you in the name of Jesus that there's nothing too hard for you. And then, Father, we give you glory that because of who you are, hallelujah, because of who you are, not because of what you can do, because we know of your awesomeness, but because of, of who you are, we thank you that as we seek your face, you will show us your hand. Give us the right mind to seek your face so that you may show us your hand. And Father, we pray earnestly for our government in the name of Jesus. Father, we don't know what's going to happen, but you know what's already going to happen. So we give you glory right now. And we thank you that you said it in your word. The king's heart is in your hand and you turn it like the water course, whether soever you will. So Father, we thank you for turning the negative around. And whatever the enemy is meaning for harm, that you're going to reverse it for our good in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare that it's already done in Jesus' name. Let thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is already done in heaven. We thank you for it right now. And we come against every principality, every power, every ruler of darkness, every spiritual wickedness in high place that would try to stop the word from going forth in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now that as it goes forth through the airways and the byways and through the internet, Father, we thank you. And through the radio, the devil, you cannot stop the broadcast from going forth in the name of Jesus. You cannot block the signals from going forth and that it would hit the ears that it need to hit. It would hit the hearts that it need to touch and mend them in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare souls be saved lives be changed, hearts be mended, 
broken souls be meshed back together in the name of Jesus and that they'll come running asking what must I do to be saved that they come to the understanding Lord God that they must pray and not faint and we thank you Lord God that as they come to that understanding we thank you that also that they will come to the understanding Lord God as the people hear the word and then act upon it that they as they believe they shall receive you said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. So we decree the principles of your word. You said upon precept, upon precept, that you will take us from glory to glory, upon faith to faith. And we decree your word right now in the name of Jesus, that no weapon formed against us will prosper. Every tongue that rises against us shall, against us shall be condemned in judgment. And you said, this is the heritage of the saints and so father we are not afraid of the enemy but father we come to let him know that as we are fully covered in our armor in the name of jesus from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet and that as we covered by your blood that we're not afraid but we will walk and stand fast and stand fast in that liberty in which you set us free because you said he who the son sets free is free indeed hallelujah to your name in jesus name we pray and we give you the glory in jesus name amen, amen. hallelujah let us welcome pastor larry burgess of new life in christ jesus church ministries as he comes forth not only to just bring us the word but as to teach and as the word goes forth let the anointing go out and Father, we say anoint this man of God as he speaks the word, as he teach the word. Let your spirit flow, for Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you all. It is so good to be here once again in the house of the Lord. I was... You know, the Bible, the scripture said, I was glad when they said unto me, Amen. let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us go into the house of the Lord. And so we are here. Amen. And we are here to be a blessing to you today. Amen. To encourage you, to empower you, to be everything that God created you to be. Amen. All oh, glory to God. You know, I just, I'm excited. You know why I'm excited? Because it's Thanksgiving. I'm, ex I'm excited because it's Thanksgiving. Not only that, it, I'm excited because it's Thanksgiving. I'm excited because Jesus Christ is on the throne. <laughs> he's not, he's, he's, he's one, he's one, he is one that will never change. Amen. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he's not changing. And so I thank God for this opportunity to be able to come to you this evening and to share with you once again the living word of God. Now, Father, before I get started, I want, I want to pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to anoint every ear to hear, prepare every heart to receive. Make my tongue as of a pen of a ready writer to write your word upon the hearts and upon the minds of your people that they will know the truth and that the truth shall make them free. And Father, we covenant with you now, Lord God, we will give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. For it's in your magnificent name that we pray in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Glory to God. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Glory to God. Well, I want to once again uh, greet you all. Welcome to a new life in Christ Jesus Church, where Jesus Christ is glorified. Amen. We're, in a, we're, in a, we're doing a series on Tuesday nights, and we're talk, we, we, we've been we're doing a lot on prayer. And so right now we are doing a little teaching along the same line. Tilt that one back just a little bit. This, yeah. Amen. That's good. And so right now we are we are we're doing a little uh, we're doing a little teaching along the line of prayer because see Thursday and Friday is our prayer days. That's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We are praying. Amen. Oh my God. And just and and my, and, just, and friends, the end of the month is coming up. Oh glory to God. <laughs> right after Thanksgiving. That's right. Right after Thanksgiving. 
the last three days, we're going to, we got to, we're going to be fasting and praying. And what a good time to fast and pray after been eating all that turkey, all them sweet potato pies and pumpkin pies and apple pies and beach cobblers and all that stuff. Oh, what a, what a time to fast. So, we, so we're going to be fasting uh, the last three days of this month. And let's see, what is those days? What, what are those days? Let's, let's, just, let's just get it out in the open right now while we're talking about it because, amen. Amen. So the last two days, last three days of this month is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the last three days of the month. Amen. And then Thursday and Friday, we're praying anyway. So, we, so look, folks, <laughs> we've got a whole week of prayer coming up. Amen. On the 28th, starting on the 28th. Amen. Start on the 28th, 29th, and the 30th. That's the time we're going to be fasting and praying. Amen. Now, let me just explain about this fasting because, see, a lot of people say, well, I don't know if I can fast all uh, for three days. Yes, you can. You can do whatever. The, you, can, you can do it bec not because someone is making you do it. You can do it because God is asking you to do it. Amen. That's the most important thing is to do it unto the Lord, not to be seen of men, but to do it unto the Lord. Amen. So at... Uh, so at, at, uh, at, uh, the, at uh, the 20th, 28th, 29th, and the 30th, we're going to be fasting from, for only 12 hours a day. Now that's 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Amen. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's uh, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's the 28th, 29th, and the 30th of this coming month. Amen. Of this month. The last three days of this month. Not this coming month. This month. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this right now, because see, we we're gonna be fasting next month too. But we're talking about this month right now, the month of November, 28th, 29th, and the 30th. That's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Now, God, now that's gonna be awesome, being able to go on a fast right, right on on Monday. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Amen. I'm gonna take it all five days. Amen. Because I gotta be praying. I, I, I'm gonna be praying anyway for those times. Why not fast those same times? So, and, the, and the fast is not, uh, that's why we, we're doing, we're fasting only 12 hours a day because that people can, under, that people, more people can, can join us in this, in this fast. Because if we do 24 hours a day, people be trying to, trying to back away from us. Amen. But for 12 hours a day, you more likely can do 12 hours a day. Amen. You more likely can do 12 hours a day. Amen. So, uh, we're asking everyone to do 12 hours a day on the fasting, starting on the 28th, 29th, and the 30th. Now, we're asking you to fast water only. Amen. No food, only water. Now, if you're on medication and stuff like that, I understand that you, if you have to, if you have to, because uh, if you have to eat something to, for you to take your medicine and everything, I understand that. But glory to God. What, what do you think, though? You're fasting and you're praying, then, and, 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 and all of a sudden, God heal you while you're fasting. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. God can heal you while you fast. Amen. So anything, anything can happen. Amen. All things are possible. You know what I you know what I found out? You know what I found out? I found out that we are created in the image of God. And you know what that showed me? That there's a there's a part of me that that really that the, that the world is it really needs to see. Amen. And that's the part of me that is just like God. Because I'm created in his image and after his likeness. Now, the reason why I said that, because uh, I, I was listening to something and that just really inspired me today. Because you see, I, it's just like there's a negative part of you and then there's a positive part of you. In other words, there's a, a natural part of you and there's a divine part of you. Because you are a spirit. You have a soul. You live in a body. Amen. You are a spirit, you have a soul, you live in a body. So there's a, a part of you that, that is just like God. There's a part of you that, that, that's just, just natural. Amen. That's just natural. And so God, God is going to uh, take full, he wants to, want to fully inhabit that part which is natural. Because he wants you to be not only be natural, but he wants you to be supernatural. <laughs> He wants you to be supernatural. And you know what? The best way to get that way is through prayer, meditating on the Word of God, and allowing the Spirit of God to speak into your life. See, we're talking today 
by praying with an understanding and with authority. Amen. Pray with an understanding and with authority. That's what we're going to be talking about today. And I pray that, that as we go through this lesson today that we can all learn something that we can apply to our life. Amen. So do y'all want me to sing y'all song today? Or do you want me to sing y'all song? How about you over here? You want a song today? Okay. Thank you. I ble thank you. I I'll do it. No problem. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it just for you. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. And then we're going to go right into our lesson. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. You may be down and feel that God has somehow forgotten that you are faced with circumstances that you can't get through and right now it seems that there's no way out and you're going under God's proven time and time again he'll take care of you Take a look at where you are now and where you've been. Yes, and he's always come through for you. Well, he's the same God as then. You may not know how, you may not know when, but he'll do it again. knows the things that you're going through and he knows how you're hurting you see he knows how your heart has been broken in two well, he's the God of the stars the sun and the sea and he is your father he could calm the storms and he'll find some way to fix this for you and he'll do it again yes you do it again if you just take a look
we talk about the area of prayer today, amen, you know, what do most people do when they first enter into prayer? The most common way that people enter into prayer is, is, is something like this. Oh, Lord, I thank you for watching over me today, and I thank you, Father, for, for keeping me safe and my family. Then all of a sudden, now, God, I need this. I need you to move in this place. And God, I need, I need a blessing right here. I need supernatural, I need finances in my life right now, Lord. God, I need this and I need that. You know, most people enter into prayer is always talking about what they need. Amen. Always talk about their need. When God is looking for us to enter into his prayer with thanksgiving and into his course with praise. Amen. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. Because see, we know that if we live a life that is pleasing to God, it is no problem for God to give us the desires of our heart because he has already said that he would give us the desires of our heart. He said, because he said, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Amen. So if the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, then, they, then he, he already said in Philippians 4, 19, that my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So now I need to understand how to pray effectively in order to get the will of God carried forth in my life. Amen. I need to understand that I must, I, 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 I got to have an understanding of what I'm praying for. And I need to understand that I must pray with authority. See, if Jesus was here and he was, and he, he wouldn't just pray, he would command. Amen. Because prayer, you know, you walk in, remember what I just told you at the beginning, that we are created in the image of God. Prayer is not always asking and begging. I know a lot of people do that though. You know, oh God, please, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God please. <laughs> that's not, that's all, if that's where you feel like you need to pray, that's all right, that's all well and good, if that's what you want to do. But that's not what's going to get your prayers answered. Amen. You can whine, you can moan, you can cry, you can shed crocodile tears. Amen. But that don't mean you're going to get your prayers answered. What's going to get your prayers answered when you come to God with a spirit of humility? When you humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. The Lord said that he will exalt you in due time. Amen. He will exalt you in due time. So when I come to God, I must believe that he is God. Amen. I can't come to him half-heartedly, not really sure if this is really God. Amen. I must believe that he's God because the Bible said he, uh, he that come to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrew 11 and 6. Amen. And so when I come to God, I must believe that he is. Because you know, my mouth, my mouth can stop my blessings. I'm going to say that again. My mouth can stop my blessings. My mouth can stop my prayers from being answered. Amen. Because I can pray in faith the first time. And then from that point on, I start talking doubt and unbelief concerning what I just prayed about. And that, and that makes my prayers void. Amen. Because see, God can't give you a sweet water and bitter water from the same fountain. Amen. So I got to, I got to have one or the other coming out of me. And it got to be a constant. It got to be, it got to be, a, it got to be a, a constant flow. It, not, not a hit and miss. Amen. It has to be continual. Amen. Amen. So now that the water is, be, now that I'm praying properly, now out of my belly shall flow rivers. Of what? Living water. Living water. Amen. So now my prayers is beginning to line up with the word of God. And when my prayers are lined up with the word of God, now my, 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 my word, the word of God coming out of my spirit is lined up with the will of God. Amen. With the will of God. And with the will of God and the word of God being manifested in my life, now authority is being created. Now I can exercise and speak with authority. Why? Because now I recognize that I am created in the image of God. I am born of his spirit. I'm washed in his blood. Amen. I'm delivered from the powers of darkness. I've been translated to the kingdom of light. Now it's my obligation as a child of God to walk in the authority of him who have called me out of darkness. Now, when I, do, when I start doing that, I'm not going to look at situation and start talking about how bad it is. I'm going to start looking at situation and I'm going I'm to start exercising authority over it. What do you mean, Pastor? I'm going to exercise authority over sickness and disease. <clears throat> I'm going to exercise authority over the spirit of fear. 
I'm going to exercise authority over the spirit of unbelief. Well, how are you going to do that, Pastor? I'm going to speak life. I'm going to, I'm going to speak what the word says. Amen. <clears throat> because the word said, fear not. So I'm saying, Lord, I choose not to fear. About, I, I choose not to fear. I choose not to allow fear to, 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 to bother me concerning this issue. I choose to walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind up that spirit of fear that's trying to interfere with my thinking, that's trying to interfere with my emotions, that's trying to interfere with my will. I bind it and I lose it from its assignment in Jesus' name. And I choose to walk in authority and power. So now I declare and I decree, be healed. Amen. So what am I doing? I'm exercising, I'm exercising authority. I'm exercising divine authority. Amen. So now, when I'm praying... I know that my father will not just hear me, but he will, he will confirm his word with signs follow. Amen. Because you see, what is, why, are we going, why would we be doing all this praying if we didn't have no uh, uh, increment of an idea that God would confirm his word? That's why we pray, folks, because we believe that God is going to confirm his word. We believe that the God we serve is going to confirm his word. Amen. So when we pray, we know that he hears us. And the Bible says when you know that he hears us, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. Amen. So when I pray, I, I, I got to come to him with confidence. I can't come to him half-heartedly. I can't come to him with a, 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 a doubt and, and unbelief on my heart and on my mind. I got to come to God knowing that he is God. I got to know that he's God. And when I know that he's God, I will not worry about my prayers being answered. Because when I know that I've come to him in confidence, I know that when I pray that he has heard me. And when I know that he has heard me, that I have the petition that I desire of him. Amen. And then when I'm praying, God, have your way in my life. Have your way in my ministry. If I don't know what to pray, I just pray in the Holy Ghost. Amen. I just pray the perfect will of God. I just pray the perfect will of God. Amen. And so I want to turn you to the book of Luke, chapter 11. Book of Luke, chapter 11. Amen. In the book of Luke, chapter 11, I want you to look with me here. Amen. We're going to have a, a we're going to do a couple of scriptures here. Amen. Book of Luke, chapter 11. Glory to God. And let's look here at verse number one. It says, And it came to pass that as he was praying, in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples to pray. Now, you know what? I believe that God, if, if someone, if there had to be someone to teach us to pray, I believe the Lord would be the very one for that job. Amen. I don't believe, I know he'd be the very one for that job. Amen. You know, when I first started, when I first started praying, I, I didn't know what to pray. I didn't know what to pray for. And, you know, and I was, and I'm just, I'm just going to tell you a, a little about when God first started using me in this area. It was back when I was on the farm. <laughs> I was on, yeah, I, I was born and raised on the farm. So I was on the farm. I was working on, I was working in the field. I was going down the field with, in, on the tractor. Amen. Plowing the, plowing the cotton. Amen. In Alabama. Amen. And I was up there and I, and, and I started praying. I started, and I started praying. You know the three times a day prayers that I'm talking about? I start praying those three times a day prayer because see I'm out there all by myself on in that field on that tractor and I can I'm up and down in that field all day long and I have all the time I need all the time I need to pray and so I'm praying I'm praying and so God had me praying for the pastor God had me praying for ministers God had me praying for Jerusalem even back then God had me praying for for things that I did and then then I'm, and then every time I would pray I'm always praying for these people then uh, all of a sudden these people you know that's uh, because I was partnered with some of them, they they started sending me notes asking me for money, and I was uh, and I said, God, why is all why is it that they always asking for money, and when when I have a need, and I said, God, nobody ever give me anything, <laughs> and so what I said, I said, God, I said, now that I got your attention, I said, let somebody send me something for a change, and believe it or not, within that following week, someone. I know that I could tell you the name of the minister. He sent me a, a whole complete, uh, 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 a whole complete uh, uh, tapes. Because well, they were doing tapes at this time. They sent me a whole series of tapes on how to get wealth. <laughs> and how to get wealth. And I said, wow. 
But you see, I did that. I, I did that for for Jeff because see, when I'm praying for people, when I'm praying for people, I like to know exactly how to focus. In. God, what you want me to pray for? Amen. So I begin to pray. God, let your will be done in the minister's life. I pray for the fivefold ministry gifts. And God, I bind up every wicked, every tormenting thought that will try to come against their mind, their will, their emotion. They will try to interfere with their ministry, their calling, and the anointing that you have placed upon their lives. And I say, God, I declare, let your kingdom come in their life. Let your will be done in their life. Lord, <clears throat> Uh, just uh, undergird them but by the right hand of your righteousness and let the your grace rest upon them father because you said in your word that your grace is sufficient so I'm praying for these people I'm praying the will of God I'm praying the pre the power of God I'm praying in authority amen I'm exercising God's word and I'm and I'm beginning to see results amen then and, th and now the, the my uncle which I was who I was working for at the time who I was working for at the time he started having Problems uh, with his farm and stuff, uh, the crops drying up and dying because. And and and, and I said, well, "Would you want me to? You want me? You want me to pray for your farm?" <laughs> I said, "You want me to pray for your farm?" And so I started praying for his farm. Amen. And that year, his farm did the best it ever did. Amen. His farm did the best it ever did because you see, every place your foot tread upon, God said, "You can. It's yours." Amen. You can possess it for the glory of God. That's right. Amen. And so I was always. Up and down, so I've always walking on the land, and I'm all, and and, and, uh, and the, the, those those prayer times at nine and twelve and three, I would always stop, and I would get down on my knees, and I would pray, Amen. I would pray, and that's then this is why, folks, I'm, I'm telling you, these prayer times are so important that we have. It's, if we will keep these prayer times, that God will move supernaturally. Whatever whatever area that you deal with, God moves supernaturally on that area. Amen. And so I had people start asking me to pray for them all. I mean, from from everywhere, people asked me to pray. Amen. So I, I was I started praying. Then all of a sudden, the same thing that Daniel was operating in start start operating in me because I I was praying those prayers every. I wasn't doing it two times a week like I'm doing now. I was doing it every day. Every day, amen. Except on except on Sunday, because on Sunday I'm a, I was always somewhere preaching, so I, I couldn't. I had to on Sunday. That was the only time I didn't do it. But every day I was praying those three times a day prayers. And folks, the spirit of wisdom and the revelation of God began to rest upon me. And people, I mean, uh, the understanding dreams and and visions start. I mean, start operating. And people called me from all from from everywhere asking me to. Uh, about the dreams that they had. Amen. And I'll tell you what, it, 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 I didn't ask no one to do it. It just started happening. God wants to use you in these last days. And so prayer, you need to learn how to pray. You need to pray effectively. You need to learn how to pray in authority. Amen. And you need to have an understanding in what you're praying for. You need to have an understanding of what you're praying for. Because how, what are you, what are, well, what are you praying for? Oh, just, just for anything. Well, that's what you're going to have, just anything. That's why you need to learn to focus your prayers because you, you, if you don't know what you're praying for, you won't know what when you won't know when it come. Amen. If you don't know what you're praying for, when, when whatever God won't do in your life, you will never know when it began to happen in your life. So that's why you need to start focusing your prayers, and that's why we're focusing our prayers at nine in the morning, twelve at noon, and three in the evening. Because I believe that everything that God is doing in the earth right now. Is 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 around is, is centered around the prayer of his, of the saints, amen. It's centered around the prayer of the saints, amen. How many of you know that uh, everything that we everything that God is doing right now, it has it has the world is going through a lot of changes right now, but the body of Christ has the ability to to bring stability to the earth. And to the land and to everything that it's going through right now. Because the body of Christ, let me tell you something, they have something that's very, very powerful on their life. Now, how many of you know what that is? The blessing. The blessing. Amen. They have the blessing on their life. And it's the blessing that God placed upon the life of the believer that God has said to replenish the earth. Now he didn't. Now they, they, a lot of people think they're talking about replenish earth they because it was only seven people. They think it was talking about babies have going to start replenishing, having a lot of babies. Well, even sinners can have babies. 
Amen. But how many can have the, the anointing and the blessing upon their life that will release the will of God in the earth? And that's what God was talking about. Amen. And that's why you need to understand how to pray properly because, see, your words are full of life. Your words are full of, of health and healing. Your word is full of the nature and the character of God. And so when we pray with authority, when we pray with, the, with an understanding, then we know that when God hears us, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. It's not, a, it's not a question about it. Amen. There's no question about it. God wants to move in your life in such a way that you will be so, so surprised. Amen. And you think, did God do it? I'll tell you, you'd be so surprised. Did God do that because I... Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Why? Because you are his child. <clears throat> you are his child. Amen? You are his child. Now, most people, when they start praying, most people, when they start praying, they start begging. <laughs> they either begging or complaining. God, give me, give me this. Give me this. God, I need this. And I need this. And I need this. Amen? Are they complaining? God, I don't like that person attitude. I, and God, I want you to do something about that. <laughs> no, that's not the way we should pray. That's not the way we should pray. When we pray, we should enter into his gates with thanksgiving. We should humble ourselves before his mighty hand. And we should never run up in God's faith talking like we are, that we have arrived because none of us have arrived. We are all a work in progress. Believe me. <laughs> you, we are all a work in progress. <laughs> so he said, and it came to pass, and it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And when he said, when he, when, and he said unto them, when ye pray, Say, our Father, our Father. Now, when he said, say, our Father, that was very uncommon. That was very uncommon because they never heard someone pray saying, our Father, because, you see, that is getting intimate. And this is what God is looking for in our prayer life. He's looking for intimacy in our prayer life. Amen? Intimacy. And so when we pray, amen, we, we, this, is why, this is why it's so important that we come humble before God. Because, see, when you come humble before God, you, you're not coming complaining. You're coming as a little child. Amen? And, 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 you, and, you, might, you, might, and you might have a question. God, but well, why is this like this? And, and I don't understand this, Lord. And then all of a sudden, because you didn't come bolstering and, 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 and complaining, but you came with a, with a heart uh, with a legitimate uh, need in your life, a need of understanding, because see, God loves you to have understanding about everything that He's doing. Amen. Because if you don't ask Him for understanding, you won't know when you you won't you you don't know it's available for you. Amen. But when we, but everyone should ask for understanding. And all you'll get is get understanding. Amen. Get understanding. And so God wants you to have understanding. And so when you pray. Because I've done it, I've done it myself. I said, God, I don't understand this right here. And, and I was reading something. And I said, Lord, I don't understand what you're saying right here. And I said, help me to understand. And, and, and so I, I thought about that for a minute. Then I just left it alone. Went on back to reading. Then all of a sudden, it came to me what that meant, what I asked him. You know why it came to me? Because I had a need of understanding. I asked him. Amen. See, God will not withhold wisdom from you. He will not withhold knowledge from you if you will challenge it in the right way, using it for his glory. Amen. I, I tell you what, I have been so, so uh, amazed at God because, see, I, I finished high school and I have just a little college, but you know what? I could still use some more schooling. I could use a whole lot more schooling. But when I look at what God has did, had dealt with me through the word, the wisdom that he has imparted to me, and the knowledge that he has imparted to me through the word, I'm thinking, Lord, you taught me a lot. Amen. You've taught me a lot. Amen. And so what, what I'm saying is this, folks. Just because you might feel lacking in some area, don't 
count yourself lost. The only one that is defeated is the one that's dead. As long as you are alive, my God, you're still, you still, you still in the race. You're still in the race as long as you're alive. Amen. But once you're dead, then it's, it's too late for you. But as long as you're alive, you got a chance. You got a chance. Amen. So when you're praying, just pray from your heart. Because what's come from the heart is going to touch the heart of God. It's going to touch the heart of God. Amen. And so we need to understand that. Because see, because he, he, when we come to him, and say, our, when he said pray, pray our Father, that means he wants intimacy. He's expecting intimacy. Amen. He's looking for intimacy. As we follow, as we follow, the, as we follow this, we know that we know we know it by heart. What we say we know by heart. We know this prayer by heart. What he's talking about right here. Because see, a lot of people use this as a, a guideline to pray prayer. When 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 God started dealing with me in the prayer, I use, I said I said that whole prayer before I even start saying anything that I really wanted to talk about. I said, Lord, I said, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt and we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom of the Lord and thine is the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. And then I, and then I start entering into whatever I want to talk to him about. Amen. Now Lord, I want to talk, this is what, something here is bothering my heart. Something is, is very dear to my heart and it, and it kind of, kind of, I don't have a clear understanding about it. And I began to talk to him about that what I need understanding about. And he began to reveal it to me. Why? Because I came into his presence the proper way. The proper way. Amen. I didn't come boasting myself. I didn't come pushing myself. I came humble as a child. You know when you, because see, my, when my daughter, when my daughter want, want to talk, I mean, she always have a lot of questions. Oh my God, she has so many questions. <laughs> I said, honey, can you be quiet for a little while? But daddy, <laughs> what is this? And, and why are you doing this? And, and who, what is this all about, you know? <laughs> and so she have a lot of questions. So and I have to try my best to explain to her and to, to a certain point where she can understand it. Amen. And that's the same way God wants to do with us. That's the same way God wants to do with us. When we have questions, God wants us to ask him and because he wants to give us understanding. God does not get pleasure out of our ignorance. Amen. But when we, huh? Oh yeah, the devil do. Yes, you're right about that. The devil do. Amen. But the thing about it is that God gets pleasure when he is able to to communicate with you. That you can have dialogue with one another. Amen. That you can communicate with one another. Because see most people. They like to go in their prayer closet. They like to pray for a whole hour. Amen. And then they just walk out. And just go by their business. Never giving God the opportunity to talk back. Never giving God the opportunity to talk back. Amen. And, and, and when we have our prayer time. My family. My wife and I. We have intercessory prayer over at, at our home. We pray after we done pray for an hour or so, whatever we do. Then after we done pray, we stop. I said, now let's get completely silent. God is going to speak back to us now. We've been talking to him for a whole hour. Now God wants to speak back to each of our hearts. So we become completely silent and we wait on God to speak back to us. Amen. And believe me, folks, God speaks with revelation my God, my God, my God, like you, like you never understood. I've got, well, we, we have gotten so much revelation, got so much wisdom from God, but after we done prayed that we stop and listen for him to talk back to us. Now, folks, now that's powerful. That's powerful. Amen. See, you don't always have to do all the talking. Because, see, how can you have communication if you don't want to do all the talking? Amen. You have to give him opportunity to talk back to you. Just like you've been talking to him, he wants to talk back to you. And so prayer is very, is very powerful. It's very powerful. That's why it's so important to learn to, to enter into his presence properly. And then, not only to enter into his presence properly, you've got to learn how to listen. Even while you're praying, if God wants to say something, you've got to know how to listen. I remember when I was in the prisons, 
not in prison, but going to the <laughs> going to the prison ministry. <laughs> I was not in prison, but going to the prison ministry. Amen. And uh, and 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 the people out on the general population, I'm having I'm in, having tremendous success with those people praying and, and ministering to them. <clears throat> And so all of a sudden, because they saw the people being very perceptive down in the general population, they said, sir, how about uh, we have some people up in, uh, on death row and they are getting ready to depart from this earth and will you please come in and minister to these people? And I was scared, <laughs> but I said, yes. I'll, I'll go. Amen. So I went to the uh, uh, deaf ward. Amen. They was, the deaf ward people, they were all full of AIDS and everything. You know, you know what AIDS is, right? This, it's a deadly disease. So these people were all full of AIDS and, they was, and all of them was on death row. And, and, I, and I came up there and, and uh, I didn't want to get too close to any of them. But then after I started, man, I'm just telling like it. This, this is, this is me. I'm just, I'm, I'm being transparent with you right now. I'm being transparent with you, right? So don't judge me. <laughs> I'll tell you go and do it yourself, amen. But I went to that. I went to this death row ward, the aid ward, and I started ministering to these people. I started sharing with them the love of God and the compassion of God, amen. Now that I'm done ministering to them, now I'm, I'm going, I'm praying for them. I'm starting to pray for them. One at a time, one at a time, starting to pray for them. And as I'm praying, I'm telling you, because see, I, I love to minister along the lines of healing, because that's my, that's, oh, that's my, that's my subject, because I love walking in divine health, amen, and I love ministering along that line, so that's, that's what I would minister along that line. I would minister along the line of divine health, the healing, amen, in the, in the, in the prison war. And so now that I'm the minister of the word of God, now God said, now pray. Now when I started praying, I'm just praying, just praying, just praying, just praying. Then all of a sudden, God spoke to me right in my prayer. See, I'm listening to, I'm listening to the, to, to the spirit of God while I'm praying. Then all of a sudden, God spoke to me in my prayer while I'm praying. He said, pray for the blood system. The disease is in the blood system. Now, I didn't stop praying when God was talking to me. I heard God talking to me while I was praying. <clears throat> and, so it's, and so what I did, I rechanneled my prayer while I was praying. I didn't stop praying. I just turned my prayer around. Amen. I just turned it around. You, you, yeah. I just turned it around and I started praying. Amen. For the blood system. I started coming against the disease that was in the blood system. Now, 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 let me tell you something, folks. I never called myself no. I never, I never, I never try to do anything to, to, to be seen. I, I never do that. It doesn't matter to me who get the glory, as long as God get the glory. Amen. It doesn't matter to me. But the thing about it, I started praying for these these people in the aid ward on death row. Amen. Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, God said. Pray for the disease. It's in the blood system. And I started praying for the blood system. Then all of a sudden, people start getting healed of AIDS. Just like this. Mm, one after another. Start getting healed of AIDS. Not only were they getting healed with AIDS. Not only were they getting healed with AIDS. But they were not only getting healed. Getting delivered from AIDS. They were. No. They got saved. Yeah, they got, they got saved. But they got delivered from death row. Listen to me. They were not only delivered from AIDS, but they were delivered from death row. And I said, oh God, my God, my God, my God. Amen. There was quite a few people delivered from death row. Amen. I don't know if all of them got delivered from death row, but I know some of them did because uh, when I went back the following, because I used to go once a month. When I went back the following month, I, uh, some of the people that was on death row came to me and they, they began to thank me, amen, for praying for them and ministering to them. Amen. Oh, glory to God. You see, when you allow fear, when God has got you on assignment, you can't pray with authority. 
You can't pray effectively if you are dealing with fear and, and unbelief. Amen. You got to pray like you're the only one in that room. Like this is the only person in that room. Amen. You got to pray like it's just that person, you and God. Hallelujah. And so when I prayed, I, didn't, I just closed off everything and I prayed for, this, for these people one by one. Amen. And God said, Pray for the blessings, the diseases in the blessings. And I started praying for it. I said, in the name of Jesus, I said, I speak to the blood system. I said, be healed in Jesus' name. And I said, I cursed this disease in the blood. I started coming against that disease, and I started praying for the disease, for the, for the, for the people, and people started getting healed. Left, thump, thump, boom, boom, getting healed. A, been disappeared out of their bodies. Amen. You know what? I'm so, I, 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 get, I get so caught up when I'm talking about healing. Because see, this is one of the, my, the main thrusts of my ministry. This is one of the main thrusts of my ministry. Because deliverance is what God is looking for in the life of his servants. He wants you to be a Moses. <laughs> he wants you to be a Moses. Uh, he wants you to be a, an Aaron. Amen. One that will not be ashamed of him but will declare what God has said regardless of, of what people might think see I don't care what you think about me because see I'm not God I'm just a servant <laughs> I'm a servant it could, it, you can say what you want about me but, but the word will back it up the word will back it up amen and that's why it's so important folks that we stick with the word when we're praying stick with the word see because I am the body of Christ Amen. There is a part of me that is divine. And that part of me that is divine is the part that God inhabits. If you walk around with a life full of sin and so forth and so on, and, you, and, you, and, you're, and, you're, and your anointing have winged, let me tell you something. God has left that. Because see, God is not going to participate in that temple if that temple is full of sin and, com and study com committing sin. Amen. There's a part of you that is just like God. Amen. But God's not going to stick around if you continually contaminating yourself with sin. So you have to watch out. You have to watch out. Amen. We have to, we have to keep ourselves clean before God. Now, I want to uh, uh, just share one more thing here. The disciples, the disciples asked the Lord, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. Amen. And passing, it, it was a, it was a, a, it was very, very uh, fashioning how they prayed because they, people during that time, they mostly prayed ritual prayers. They didn't pray using the name of the God as Father. They mostly prayed rituals. Amen. Because it was religious. They were always doing religious, religious prayer. But today God is teaching us to pray the word. See, I can start praying like this. I am the body of Christ and Satan, you have no power over me for I will come even with good. I am of God and have overcome him Satan, because great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I will fear no evil, Lord, for you are with me and your word and your spirit comforts me. I am far from oppression and fear does not come nigh me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper for my righteousness is of the Lord. And everything that I do will prosper because I'm like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. Amen. So what am I doing? Instead of me talking against the will of God for my life, I'm speaking the word of God over my life. Amen. I'm speaking the word of God over my life. I am the blessed and not the cursed. I am the healed and not the sick. I am blessed going, coming in. I'm blessed going out. I'm blessed in the store. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the basket. Amen. Every need is met according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. No weapon formed against me shall prosper because my righteousness is of the Lord. And whatever I do will prosper because I'm like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. Amen. I'm speaking over my life through prayer what I'm expecting to receive or to obtain and walk in. Amen. Because see, authority of the word comes from the heart. The authority of the word comes from the heart. Amen. The devil knows when you don't know what you're talking about. Amen. So if you think you thinking that you're going to give them food somebody, you have another thing, you have another thought coming. Because see, 
The devil knows when, you're not, when you don't know what you're talking about. And that's why it's so important to find you some prayer material. Learn how to pray properly. Amen. I'm telling you, now, uh, Dr. Marcerillo, he has a lot of prayer material. You can find his material online. You can go to his ministry, uh, uh, World Evangelism Ministries, uh, Marsh Riddle World Evangelism Ministry. He got all a, a lot of stuff on prayer. Amen. You can go. You can go to. Oh uh, 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 my God, that's a lot of people got a lot of stuff on prayer. But this one is one. This is one that I know personally. I use a lot of his material. That's why I read a lot of his stuff. And so that's why I'm talking to him. That's Papa. Amen. That, that's that's Papa. Amen. You don't get you don't get no better than Papa. <laughs> he's he's a he's a proven ministry. I mean, a, a worldwide ministry, a prophet of God. Amen. So there's plenty of prayer material that you can get, but you got to start doing it. And Marilyn Hickey, she's got a book. She had this book, uh, "Speak the Word." Amen. Yes. Speak the Word, huh? Yes. You got it. Yes. Amen. She she was giving out this book a couple weeks ago. Uh, Speak the word. And let me tell you something. That's a good book. And then Charles Capps got books out. Charles Capps got books out. Uh, my God, I got one right here. It's a little bitty book. It's a little book. Matter of fact, the scripture that I was just quoting over my life just now is found right here in this little book. God created power. Amen. God created power. So you learn how to pray. You learn how to pray the word when you start speaking the word frequently. Not just every once in a while, amen, but frequently. See, on, the, on those three times a day when I was praying, I used to read these things three times a day. I used to read these prayers in this book three times a day. From the half, from page 16 all the way through page, oh, glory to God. All the way through page, uh, let's see, the last prayer comes in on page number, on page number uh, 26, amen. I read this book, all, I, I, read, this, I read this book through and through, I don't know how many times. I don't know how many times. Or quite a hundreds of times. Amen. And but 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 the 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 the, the material that's in the middle of the book, the, the confessions that's in the middle of the book, all the way from the middle to the end of the book, I've done that for thousands and thousands of times. Amen. Thousands and thousands of times. So uh, I can pretty much quote this by heart. I can pretty much quote this by heart. Amen. That's how much I've been using this book. But see, it's not enough to just use the book, to just speak the word. You got to understand what you're speaking. You got to have an understand what you're speaking because authority don't come because you because you're just saying something. Authority comes when you understand what you're saying. And when you declare what the word says. Amen. God is calling us to pray, folks. He's calling us to pray, and he's looking at our hearts Why we're praying. Are we coming sincerely? Are we coming half-heartedly? Amen. It's, the way you come into God's presence is going to determine the outcome of your prayers. And so we need to pray properly. Amen. Enter into his presence with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. For the Lord is good, and his mercies endure forever. Amen. And so pray properly. Let God be God in your life. My time is up for today, but I hope I said something to encourage you to have a desire to pray. Remember, Thursday and Friday, we're going to be praying at 9 in the morning, 12 at noon, and 3 in the evening for only 10 minutes at a time. 10 minutes at 9 in the morning, 10 minutes at 12 noon, and 10 minutes at 3 p.m. At 9 in the morning, we pray for the Jerusalem prime minister and, and, every, and all the people of, of Israel. Amen. Uh, the military and all that stuff. Amen. Then at 12 noon, we pray for the body of Christ. We pray for the fivefold ministry gifts. And we pray for all of our family members. Amen. Then at 3 p.m., we pray for our newly elected president. We pray for uh, all of the people that's going to be working with him. And, and for the, our military personnel, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, our, our soldiers, amen, we're going to be praying for them, and we're going to be praying for their family members, amen. So don't y'all uh, forget that on Thursday, on Thursday and Friday, we're praying for our soldiers, amen, in our, in their, in our country, our, our nation. And also, on uh, the 28th, 29th, and the 30th, which is Monday, 
Tuesday and Wednesday of next week is the last three days of the month. We're going to be fasting and praying. On the last three days of the month, we're going to be fasting and praying. Now, we're only fasting. We're not having food for 12 hours. No food for 12 hours. Amen. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., no food. Only water. Only water. Amen. Or liquid, whatever you want to drink. Only, only liquids. Amen. And so uh, I, I prefer that you stay away from sweet stuff. Amen. <laughs> and caffeine. <laughs> Amen. Uh, it's, but, you know, uh, as long as you don't eat no food, you, you know, you pretty much, but you, you, you're going to mess yourself up if you don't eat sweets and stuff. If you don't drink sweet stuff, you'll mess yourself up. But just stay, if you stick with water, you'll be a whole lot better off. Amen. A whole lot better off uh, for 12 hours, just water. It's, you can do it. It's easy. It's easy. But Pastor, you just don't know. I, I don't, I, I'm not used to that stuff. It's time to start to get used to it. Amen. It's time to get used to it. Because see, it's all, it's all about you giving over to God. Yielding your will, your mind, your emotion over to the will of God. Amen. So, and so when we're praying, we don't want to pray out loud. Or we don't, uh, or we don't want to, uh, not, uh, you can pray loud if you want to, but you don't, we don't, you, we don't want to, we don't want to pray where we're trying to be seen. We don't want to pray what we're trying to be seen. We want to pray. We want to uh, pray in secret that our Father will see the secret shall reward us openly. Amen. Now you can pray loud in secret. You can still pray in secret. You can pray loud while you're in secret. Amen. But you don't want to pray to get people attention. That's what you don't want to do. You don't want to pray to get people's attention. You want if you want to pray, you want to pray to get God's attention. And that's why he said, humble yourself. Amen. Amen. Because see, you don't, that's right, you don't want to draw attention to yourself. You want to draw attention to God. Amen. Everybody got that, right? That's 9 in the morning, 12 at noon, 3 in the evening. That's Wednesday and Thursday. And then Monday, Monday we are fasting from, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Water only for those that can. And we are praying the same time, 9 in the morning, 12 at noon, 3 in the evening. That's all next week. All next week, we're praying nine, uh, three times a day, all next week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All next week, three times a day, praying. Nine in the morning, 12 at noon, three in the evening. Because see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are the, are the time of fasting and praying. Thursday and Friday is our record day that we have to pray. Okay? So don't forget, we're going to be praying five days next week. And the first three days of next week, we're going to be fasting. I'm going to fast all five days. I don't know about you, but I'm going to fast all five days. It's only for 12 hours a day. I'm going to do it the whole, I'm going to do it the whole week of fasting and praying. Amen. So I want you all to join me, those that will. We love you all. Thank you. Thank God for you right now. We're going to go ahead and take about eating and offering. Amen. Going to take about eating and offering. I think my wife just... Okay. <clears throat> Amen. So if you want to give today into the offering, I'm in, I want to encourage you to do so. Uh, thank God for all you that are supporting us. I really appreciate all that you do for to help us to keep going. Amen. And uh, if you're going to give by the internet, please go to my website, LarryBergenMinistries.com. LarryBergenMinistries.com. Go to my website, LarryBergenMinistries.com. Use your ATM card, your credit card. Amen. Uh, of what form of, of, of information that you use to 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 uh, with your finances. Amen. And also, uh, if you're going to send in through the mail system. Make your check payable to Larry Bergen Ministries, and then that's P.O. Box 417913, Sacramento, California, 95841. Again, that's P.O. Box 417913, Sacramento, California, 95841. So if you're going to give today, we ask you to give. If you have a testimony or a prayer request, please don't hesitate to put that 
in with your prayer. Amen. If you're doing it through the website, just go to my website and you can send us your information there. Amen. Through the website. Glory to God. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to, to move upon the heart of the people. Lord, that's going to be given today. In the name of Jesus, I ask you to touch. I ask you to set the people in a place, Father, where giving will become their second nature. Amen. And so, Father, I thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now, Lord God, I give you praise and I give you glory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Did you hear? Amen. Now let's pray. Father, we thank you for this offering. We thank you, Lord God, that you that as we have given today, Father, it shall be given back to us, good measure, pressed down, shaped together, and running over shall men give it to our bosom, Father. Father, we thank you, Father, that you have given us power over all the powers of the enemy. So, Father, we come against that spirit of lack, insufficiency. We come against that spirit of poverty. We break it off of your people right now in the name of Jesus, God. Father, we declare, Father, that when we give, we're giving from the bottom of our heart, God. We're giving, giving wittily and cheerfully because, God, you love a cheerful giver, a prompt to do it, and, up, and, a, a, and one that is, 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 is just uh, happy in his giving, Father. We just thank you for that right now in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I declare to pre bonuses on their jobs, raises, Father, coming into their, into their, into their life. And uh, houses paid off, uh, new uh, loans are paid off, bills just begin to, I mean, debt free, Father. I'm thanking you, Father, for debt cancellation in the name of Jesus. People, homes paid off, cars paid off, bills are paid off, Father. And, Father, they, when they look up, Father, they're going to be debt free. Why? Because, God, you have showed yourself strong because they have honored you by giving as you instructed them to give. And Father, I bless them. I thank you for them in Jesus' name. Now, God, we just give you all the praise and all the glory for it. Amen and amen. Amen. If you're here today, you never, you, you may be listening to me right now. Are you here today? You've never been born again. You never asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart and be the Lord of your life. And right now you say, Pastor, I never had the opportunity, well, I had plenty of opportunities, but I never acknowledged Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. Pastor, will you please pray for me? I feel like the day is my day. Will you please pray for me? And yes, I will pray for you. Amen. Because today is your day. Every day that God allow you to breathe, every day he allow you to, to wake up, amen, you have an opportunity to make things right with him. So today is your day. If you are a backslider and you want to rededicate your life to the Lord, today is your day. Amen. So I'm going to pray for you guys right now. Amen. And I want you if just pray this prayer with me. Amen. Pray it from your heart, not because I'm asking you to, but because you mean business with God. If you want a new beginning in your life, this is the way you get it, folks. This is the way you get a new beginning. It's by submitting your heart, your mind, your will over to the will of God. Amen. So say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Create in me a right spirit and renew in me a clean heart. Jesus, I believe that you are the son of God and that you died for my sin. And according to your word, you said that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'm calling upon you, Lord, right now. I'm asking you to forgive me of my sin, come into my heart, and be the Lord of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. If you said that simple prayer, glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel in my spirit that many 
of you said that prayer today and God is being glorified right now because of you. Amen. Father, I give you praise and I give you glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Now, if anyone here, you have a special prayer request, I will pray for you right now. Anyone have a special prayer request, I'll pray for you right now. Anyone. Amen. Then scratch your hand toward the counters. Let's pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the people under the sound of our voice. I release my faith, Father, for their prayer life to increase. I release my faith, Father, for the anointing upon their prayer life to increase. I release my faith, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we will pray with authority and with an understanding that our prayers will not be hindered, blocked, or stopped, but we will see a full manifestation of you confirming your word in our lives with signs following. Father, I thank you and I bless your people right now and I give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' mighty and majestic name. Amen and amen. God bless you all. We do love you guys and thank you all for, your, for joining us today. Amen. My name is Pastor Larry, New Life in Christ Jesus Church. Thanks for being a part of the service today. God bless you. Until the next time, have a good day. Bye-bye. Seven here, forty here, and twenty five here. Thank you, Lord.